Hello everyone and welcome to a Seduce Me Extra episode, the holiday edition, the holiday episode. Oh my gosh, <laughs> even though it's like, what, two months late. But we still got snow, so it's still the holidays in my heart. <laughs> as long as there's still snow on the ground, it's all good. We can just pretend. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, apart from the package that was in the, the Ichio site on where you can get these Seduce Me episodes and I'll link you guys the you know the description and the link in the description below on where to find them. Uh, part of it was uh, this extra holiday special episode uh, that came with the whole James's episode, Sam's and uh, Eric's and of course the beach episode which we still have to do. So anyways, so yeah um, uh, one of you mentioned that you didn't want to wait for the holiday episode to come around in the next year. <laughs> Even though I said I was planning on trying to save it. But you know what? Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's a little bit too much. Maybe I'll save... Maybe instead of the holiday episode that I would save, I would save the, um, the beach episode once summer vacation starts rolling around. So yeah, at least then it's not too much of a wait as compared to this. So yeah, this is a little delayed. It's a little belated, but it's okay. Whatever. It's like I said, we could, we could pretend. <laughs> we can just pretend. Anyways, let's start. Oh, what is your name? Well, we're gonna go with Hannah. Surprise, surprise. Cause yeah, it's New Year's Eve, a holiday celebrated internationally. It was one of those turns of a time that no one on this earth kept, could avoid. Uh, it was one thing to spend it alone, hoping for the best and being unsure of the future ahead of you. It was, an, it was also another thing to spend it at parties, throwing a drink at the past you trudged through and dancing the night away. Yes, get drunk, get turned, just, you know pass out from drinking too much. Uh, it was a different story when the turn of the year and future beyond also somehow involved demons. Yes. Uh, the five incubi boys who had come into my life managed to stay in my home throughout the year following my final high school quarter and past my graduation. Even as I entered college, they remained supportive and surprisingly eager to stick around. Hey, that's nice of them. Unfortunately, they were still freshly known to my family and friends, that's why I had to spend my holiday without them. Aw, oh, that sucks. My family had insisted on me returning to their house and spending the holidays before New Year's with them. While bringing the incubi along seemed like a good idea, the boys collectively wanted to spend the holiday together and did not want to intrude on my family this year. Aw, oh, yeah, that's true, they got each other, it's all good. <laughs> like, I'll make some time for you guys, like, I don't know, some point. <laughs> After all, my parents still believed that they were the house servants. Bringing even one of them home for the holidays would have been an interesting story, right? So the whole first game, you know, happening. However, I was devoted to spending some holiday time with them for the uh, for the end of the year. When I was invited to places for New Year's Eve by both friends and family, I decided to stay home with the incubi. Okay, all right. Uh, a part of me felt majorly excited, another part of me felt like slapping myself over and over for letting them convince me that waiting for my holiday present was, the, was worth it. What do you mean? They got me something? Still, it was rather hilarious to see them prepare New Year's dinner. I'm pretty sure they got it. Sort of. Maybe James would. And Eric and Matthew with the cakes and shit, but I don't know about Sam. <laughs> oh my god! Sam, get out of the kitchen! Yes! <laughs> I knew it! Oh, but look at them! They're in like, they're in winter gear! Oh, winter sweaters and everything! He looks so adorable! Look at Damien, he looks so adorable! Shut up, you little runt! I just want to look! Ah. Uh. <laughs> You're in the way, Sam! Out! Yeah, no pre-tasting yet, okay? Yeah, fine! Fine! Sheesh! Okay. We told you not to go in there! Yeah, see? <laughs> we did, Sam. I swear to God, I will hurt both of you. <laughs> now, now. It's the New Year's. No fighting. Okay, don't want to have no ill omen carrying off into the next year. <laughs> That's no way to start the new year. Exactly. Ha ha ha. Yes, ha ha. Uh, Sam was completely right to feel impatient. James and Matthew had assigned themselves to making the New Year's dinner and had pulled out every recipe book in the library just to make sure they had the perfect menu. Ooh, I'm excited. The aromas that wafted from the kitchen were intoxicating and almost heavenly. I felt my mouth water just from the scent. It didn't help that the kitchen had pretty much become locked territory. Unless you wanted an earful from James and Matthew combined, then it was a then it was best that you stayed out of their workspace. Hey man, I trust them enough to like leave them to it. More teasing, great. Whatever they're making smells amazing. It is. 
They're almost done, though, so we won't be waiting long. Okay, that's good. Well, that's good. They've been working all day on food. All day? Like, how many fucking courses? God. Man, they need to hurry the hell up. (laughs) Quit being impatient, Sam. Okay. Sam opened his mouth to fight back, but instantly shut it, most likely thinking the better of it, and grumbled under his breath as he turned to sit at the table. Yeah, just sit there. Play, I don't know, play app games on your phone. Aw, oh, look at the look at his look at Matthew's Christmas sweater or like just a holiday sweater. Whatever sweater. Oh my god, it's just fucking like Simon Tabby just sewn on the front. <laughs> Soon enough James and Sam yeah. James and Matthew began to carry large plates to the din- to the dining room, setting them methodically around the table so everyone had the chance to get what they wanted regardless of where they sat. Okay. Why don't you get a lazy Susie? I was stunned once more by the sheer amount of fruit prepared, topped by topped only by the intense aroma that melded almost perfectly in the air. It was like they were trying to take the record of how much fruit can be placed on the table with, on the table from when they had arrived. Yeah, Jesus, how many courses? At the thought, I had. Uh, at, the, at that thought, I took a moment to realize something. It had almost been a full year since the Incubi appeared in my life. I had graduated and was now experiencing my first year of college with the Incubi beside me. Ah. Now here I was, about to enter a new year with them in my life. I couldn't help but let a smile creep onto my face from the thought. Is everything alright? Oh yeah, just, you know, thinking back on the times when we first met each other. You know, how you just appeared out of nowhere in my in this house, in this mansion, and you're all just bloody and on my f- marble floor, just dirtying it up, and I had no idea what's going on. Huh? I looked up, not realizing how lost in thought my how lost in my thoughts I was, and came face to face with all five boys looking at me in concern. Crap. I thought Damon can read my head. (laughs) I shook my head and took a moment to recollect myself before smiling once more. Sorry, I was just lost in thought. You would know, Damien. Huh? What were you thinking about? Oh, you know, just the time we met. (laughs) Uh, From the looks on the boys' faces, all of them were curious to know. Did I want to be the cheesy nostalgic that brought up the past? Why not? Sure, nah, sure, do it. I couldn't help the thoughts from appearing in my head. Might as well enjoy it with the rest of the group, right? Nothing to hide. I ran a hand through my hair and chuckled softly. Well, it's been almost a full year since we met, you know. I was just thinking about that, right? Just a full year, just flown by. The boys stared at me before looking at each other in the same surprise realization. Oh, crap, that's right. We came here somewhere around April, right? Yeah, right? Like, see, time flies. We did. Has it really been that long? Yeah. Damn, it feels like we only came here a short while ago. I know, right? Well, we've been here for a little over a year, and we've known you since April, so that's around eight months. Eight months, but still. Wow. Do you think we'd find ourselves in the company of such a wonderful woman within a year of being in the human world? We must be blessed. I know, so blessed. Much blessed. I couldn't help but roll my eyes at Eric's comment, while the others did as well in slight annoyance. Matthew and James continued to set up dinner while I became lost in my thoughts again. The memories of the past slowly flickered flickered in my mind. Our first dinner, the house party, Malik's and Diana. It was all surreal to remember, but they were real events in my life. Hey, maybe this is like before she started falling for one of the guys. Maybe. Uh, Especially since I had my eyes on... Ah, here we go. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, wow, we're going to do this. Oh, we're going to have to come back and do everyone's like little special event, I guess, for New Year's. Okay, I see how it is. I see, I see. Okay, okay. Anyways, regardless, I'm probably going to do this all in one go just to like squish it in as much as I can. So yeah, let's do it. Let's go down the list. James. James was, James was indeed the perfect man. He was the CEO of my grandfather's company and was a loving, caring, and organized individual. He not only kept track of his brothers, but made sure to care for me as well. And plus, he's hella low-key kinky, so... <laughs> I was lucky to have a man like him to call my own. I was even more lucky to know that he val- valued me and was happy to have me as his as well. Staring at him as he set the table made my heart flutter slightly. Not many people could pull off the popped collar look, and yet James did it with perfect ease. He definitely looked like a husband material, and he doesn't look like a douchebag doing it, so it's all good. James noticed me staring and gave a little loving smile in my direction before continuing with his work. Finally, the table was set and we were all seated, really ready to dig, to dig in. Yes. I gotta admit, you and James did good, Matthew. Right. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sam and Matthew not fighting? It's a winter's miracle. Right. Magical things happen in the winter. Hey, I'm not a complete asshole to him. Well, you know, sometimes you are, actually. Only sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. But, like, still, yeah. <laughs> well, it is the turn of the human year, so it's a good way to get the habit of being nice started. Right. Very true. Okay. Uh, Damien laughed and I couldn't help but do the same. However, one curiosity burned in my mind. Why? What? Hey, um, I have a question. Why? Yes? What is it? Do you guys celebrate New Year's in the demon world? I don't know. What did you do last year's- What did you do last New Year's Eve? Okay. Kind- I was kind of right. Uh, I had remembered them telling me that they had been in the human world for a full six months before my grandfather passed away. If that was the case, then this wasn't their first New, Year New Year's Eve. We- Oh. Oh, you right. The boys took it in- The boys took in the question and looked to each other. Didn't we go to, like, New York? or something? New York? Were you in New York? Really? Wow, so fancy. Nah, we were in another continent by then. Like, Europe or something? Really? You guys? It, God, you're living the life. Jesus. London. We were in London. London, okay. Wow. It's just like, just some casual just be like, oh yeah, were we in New York? No, we're in Europe somewhere. You know what? No, we were in London. God. I remember that. We had such a fun time walking around and taking in the sights. Uh-huh. I bet you did. Without me. Psh, thanks for inviting me, God. We were on the giant Ferris wheel when midnight came. It was amazing to see all of the fireworks from it. Oh, I bet you had a wonderful time. <laughs> yes. The London Eye was closed off for the public, but since we were friends of Harold Anderson, we were allowed access and were lifted to the very top of it. Mm -hmm. A perfect view of the sky during the celebration. Yes. Matthew couldn't stop jumping all over the damn place from how excited he was. Okay. Hey, you were excited about it too. All of us were. Mm hmm. Very fair, Matthew. Still, has it really been a year since then? Ye so much has happened since. Yeah, a lot of shit happened. <laughs> Uh, the boys seemed to trail off into their own nostalgic memories, mentioning events of their trip around the world thanks to my grandfather. While I was happy for them, a little part of me felt left out. Right? Thanks for the invite! God, jeez, just go off enjoying London on New Year's Eve without me. Yeah, thanks, Grandpa. God. <laughs> sure, I didn't know them, but to have experienced the world with them would have been a dream. Maybe we could some- maybe we could somewhere in the future. Heck, maybe I'd be able to do- maybe I'd be able to see the demon world. Yeah, well... You're gonna see it soon time, girl. And <laughs> don't don't you worry. However, who knew the future? It was an unknown fa fabric of time at the yeah. <sighs> However, who knew the future? It was an unknown fabric of time that I had yet to explore that no one had yet to that no one had yet explored. All I knew was that now I was in the incubi's lives and I was going to see the new year come with them in my life. Yeah. Uh, I looked to my glass, seeing it full of my favorite drink courtesy of James while he was setting up dinner. Uh, my own reflection greeted me, and I felt myself naturally take hold of it and lift it. Ahem! I want to make a toast! <laughs> uh, at last, the boys stopped talking and looked over to me in curiosity. As they, noted my as they noted my raised glass, I smiled. May I propose a toast? Get all fancy and, you know, all sentimental. Oh? A toast for what, princess? So a happy and healthy new year, may all, may we make all the memories everlasting and shit like that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the future. Yes, to the future. The boys listened intently as I looked up to my glass in, an, in a new hope. The future was a mystery indeed, and while I wasn't part of the Incubi's past in the human world, I was more than happy to be part of their future. To the future unknown, but a future I hope to explore with you all. Amen. Yes, silence consumed the air as the boys took in what I had said. Did they realize the same thing I noticed? Why? F finally, James raised his glass and looked to his younger brothers, causing them to turn their attention. Why? Yes. To a future we can explore together. That sounds like a perfect toast. Yes. I know. Great, isn't it? Uh, as his brothers nodded and lifted their glasses as well for the toast, James looked to me with a s looked to me in a smile, assuring me to smile back in kind. Yes. Cheers! Yes, cheers. 
Uh, at that, we all drank to our toast, a future that was well, a future that was still unknown to me. I couldn't wait to experience it, but I was certain that my future was going to be absolutely grand, absolutely fucking grand. We're gonna fight in a war and everything. It's gonna be great. My heart couldn't stop pulsing with joy at the thought. I was excited to experience what was to come. We ate dinner and talked about the potential things that could happen in the future, new businesses, possible trips, and the works. For the first time, I felt like I was part of the family as I was listened to and spoke just as much as each incubus. You know, and a, and a war in the demon world, you know, and all that. <laughs> However, as the sudden flare of fireworks flashed outside the windows and the sound wave echoed behind the glass, the boys flinched and looked over in shock. Fireworks, really? What the hell? Who's lighting fireworks in the neighborhood? That's not legal, is it? Is it legal in Chicago? Fireworks? Yeah. In the neighborhood? Or is it somewhere but else? But it's not midnight yet. It's not? Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Early pre-celebrations. It's the pre-celebration fireworks. Okay. You have those? I guess we do. <laughs> sure. Uh, sort of. The school in this area loves to order a lot of fireworks and likes to set them off uh, the extra... And likes to set off the extras before New Year's comes around. Okay. What are you waiting for? We're gonna miss the fireworks show! They must have so much money just to have spare fireworks. Like, oh no, we ordered too much. Well, let's just light these extra ones. <laughs> uh, the boys and I all looked to each other and grinned before heading for the door. Ah, so pretty. Ah, wow. <laughs> Uh, the sky was filled with softly falling snow. Each snowflake and star was illuminated by the bright colorful lights of the far-off fireworks. I had seen them before, but to see them in an open sky, not surrounded by suburban trees, was a whole different experience. Holy crap. I know, so pretty, right? It's all so beautiful. Right? Absolutely, Damien. Okay. Truly magnificent. Okay, shut up. Let me enjoy the moment. You got that right. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> I'm enjoying the sights. <laughs> I looked up to James, watching him comb his hair back with a smile. For a moment, my heart caught itself, caught itself in my throat. He was, so, he was as handsome as could be in the moonlight. I couldn't take my eyes off of him. Right? I mean... <laughs> why watch the fireworks when I can totally watch you, am I right? <laughs> I think we'll end and start the new year with fireworks. It's almost poetic. I... if you say so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> One thought wandered in my mind. What was he thinking about? Was his mind on the fireworks or was it about us? Maybe both. I knew from the view f I knew the view from our front lawn wasn't exactly a view like the London Eye, but it was something we got to see each uh, see together. It was one special moment that would last forever in my memories. At that, I giggled softly, catching his attention. What is it? Nothing. I just think you're pretty. I can't wait to see the new year with you. A James stared for a moment before chuckling and nodding in reply. The new year will be a beautiful sight to see if you're beside me. Same. <laughs> Who could argue with that? It was a, it was at that moment I knew deep in my heart that I would have happily I would have my happily ever after somewhere in that unknown future. After the war. Let the new year come, I was ready. That's well that's James's. <laughs> we gotta go back. We're gonna go back and we're gonna do everyone else's. So yeah, there we go. I, I can't too bad we can't really like start off from like a load like immediately we have to like start it skip all the dialogue and shit okay so here you go you guys we're gonna, we're gonna do this okay guys we are back here again at this point so we're gonna continue down the list and we're gonna do eric's next yay okay so eric has shown me his true colors the ones that were loving and caring underneath a playful and sexy exterior shade i was fairly certain i was the only one outside of his brothers who saw such truth yes while he was working to create his own suit tailor shop, he always somehow managed to make time for he, he always managed to make time and care for me. I was grateful and happy to have him by my side as I was at his. Okay. Eric sat at the seat beside me watching his brother's work, so I got to have a little moment in staring at him without him knowing. Yes, <laughs> being a total creep, just creeping on bay casually. Yep. The turtleneck and scarf combination was a good look on him. Yes. But he's bae. We, we can creep on him all we want. It's alright. <laughs> However, Eric turned his gaze to me as if he knew I was staring, chuckling under his breath as I tried to hide the fact he caught me behind a blush and a turn of my head. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna set the table. Okay, we're gonna skip all the dialogues that we already got and see if there's anything different. Okay, there we go. So we, we're gonna raise the toast, raise the glass and shit. Okay, so finally Eric raised his glass, nodding at my suggestion and smiling lovingly at me. 
To the future. What a marvelous toast. Indeed, okay. Uh, as his brothers nodded and lifted their glasses as well, for the toast heir gave me a silent wink knowing that his future would be spent with mostly me. Yes, indeed. Cheers! Okay, so we're gonna skip to the fireworks then. There we go. Ah, isn't this lovely? I looked up to Eric and watching him lift my hand up and gently kiss the back of it. I could only gasp in surprise as he smirked slightly against my skin. He was so charming. How was I lucky enough to be his? Wow, what? God damn, you're so, you're so sweet. You're so, you're so you're romantic. <laughs> Eric, aren't you going to watch the fireworks? He's gonna be like, I'd rather watch you. Please say it. Please. Of course, but the fireworks do not hold a candle to how magnificent you are. Close enough. Okay, but whatever. I expected that from him. <laughs> yes. I smiled and blushed, both in the embarrassment and the cool air around us. It was a picture-perfect moment, a small breath of life that I would carve into my memories and cherish for the rest of my life. I have my smile, Eric tilted his head lightly. What is it? Oh, just you know, thinking happy thoughts. I can't wait to see the new year with you, yes. Eric stared at Eric stared for a moment before chuckling and nodding in reply. And I cannot wait to spend the many new years with you after that. Aww. Yay. Okay. Yes, who could argue with that? And we're gonna skip on ahead. We're gonna do this all over again, except next down the list is Matthew, I believe. So yes, we're gonna go with Matthew. Now start this over again. You're gonna keep doing this down this list, you guys. Just hang in there. Oh wait, no. My bad. It was Sam. <laughs> Whatevs. <laughs> Whatevs. Still going down the list. I could only watch in slight awe as my brown-haired, emerald-eyed Incubus leaned back in his seat, stretching out slightly and making the muscles that, were that weren't hidden under his clothes tense and flex. Yes. Sam was like a hero to come to life, strong, fast, and protective of those he loved and believed in. Being a police officer gave him the chance to be a local hero for sure, but he would always be mine first. Uh, sure, he was a little rough on the outside layer of his personality, but I know that deep inside he loved me just as much as I loved him, and that was all that mattered. Yes, a diamond in the rough. Same, same, eh. <laughs> same. <laughs> Sam finally turned his head to me and gave a little smirk, causing me to stick my tongue out at him. He was mine and I was so... Ah, he was mine and I was his, so I was free to look whenever I wanted, even at the price of him never letting me down from it. <laughs> finally, the table is set. Yes, we're gonna skip on him. We're gonna skip to the toast. Okay, there we go. Finally, Sam raised his, he his glass and cleared his throat, gaining the attention of his brothers. Yeah, to our future. Sounds good. Okay. There we go. As his brothers nodded and lifted their glasses as well for the toast, Sam looked to me and gave me a small smile when I could only tell... Uh, one I could tell was full of love and understanding. Oh, Cheers! Okay, to the fireworks! Okay. And I looked up to Sam and couldn't help but get a devilish idea seeing him become entranced by the sight of the fireworks. I'm gonna scare this bitch. <laughs> going through my thoughts, uh, going through my thoughts, I playfully pushed him into the snow, catching him off guard. Heh! <laughs> Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! I got you! Got you, bitch! <laughs> The, the snow pile beside us almost exploded like a wave splash, as like a wave splash as Sam landed in the snow and looked up at me in shock. With a goofy grin, I stuck my tongue out at him. Sorry, you had to. You just looked so adorable. <laughs> Instead of getting up, Sam simply grinned at me and laughed. Okay, yeah. God, I love you, you doofus. Me too. <laughs> Uh, I smiled and laughed, nodding in agreement. We could, we would have many chances to make memories and make each other smile. I let my playfulness melt into a loving smile, causing Sam to stare at me in confusion. I can't wait to see the new year with you. Uh, Sam stared for a moment before chuckling and nodding in reply. And I can't wait to see it with you too. Yay. Okay, cool. Alright, there, okay, that's Sam. Wow, that kind of ended a little early, quickly, whatever, okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Two more times, guys! Two more times! Two more times. Okay, uh, Matthew, this time. Yes, okay. So the cutest of the bunch, Matthew, had been the one to completely take over my heart, and I was more than happy to let him claim it for his... Eh, happily to, happy to let him claim it for his heart in return. He was special to me, and I swore my love for him in front of dangerous odds. Yeah. Not only was he funny and sweet, but he was strong enough to hold his own amongst his brothers, and was able to take care of himself and me. I was incredibly lucky. Uh, watching him set up dinner with James made me feel happy and warm. I was excited to see what the two had made, and I was even more excited to share the new year with Matthew and his brothers. Matthew stopped for a moment to look at me and gave me a silly, goofy grin before continuing on, focused on finishing up. He was so cute! So cute! 
Okay. Spy the table set, we're gonna do the toast. Okay. Finally, Matthew looked to his brothers and grinned, catching his brother's attention before lifting the glass. His glass, yeah. Yeah, to a future we can all experience. Yay. Alright, his brothers smiled at his enthusiasm and lifted their glasses up. Matthew, however, looked at me with a joyful gaze, knowing the future he would experience would revolve around me. Alright, to the fireworks. Alright. I looked up to Matthew and couldn't help an evil idea popping up in my mind, seeing him become giddy at the fireworks in the sky. Really? All these, like, evil ideas, except for, like, with James and Eric. Okay, fine. What are we gonna do with him this time? Going through with my evil plot, I scooped up some snow and lightly packed it in my hand, and I'm gonna throw it at him. Oh, Matthew! Huh? Whoa! Boom! Headshot! I aimed and fired, landing my light snowball at Matthew's head and let the snow explode onto his hair and shoulders. Matthew took in the shot and laughed, brushing off the, sh brushing off the snow with a grin. Hey, that was no fair! <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Seeing his smile only made the playful demeanor in my soul melt into a joyful excitement. Matthew continued to chuckle as I spoke, stopped only by the end of my words. I can't wait to see the new year with you, yes. Matthew stared for a moment before smiling and nodding goodbye. I can't wait to make new memories with you. Yay. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. One more time. <laughs> For the people in the back. Yeah. And last but not least, we got Damien. There we go. Despite him being considered the quietest of the brothers of his brothers, Damien was indeed the man I grew to love and the man who offered his entire life to me. I was more than happy to live life with him and to see him smile made me do the same. He was handsome and sweet, but unlike his brothers, he was human now. Okay, so yeah, this is a point in time where it's like, yeah, where it's the whole, uh, I guess it's after the whole Seduce Me game, the first one, okay, so. He was set for life being ma magicless, and I was going to walk through it with him, guiding him through with a loving embrace. Damien sat beside me and gently held my hand, watching his brothers set up for dinner. I could tell he was excited to get dinner started, but he was holding himself back and silently asked me to hold his attention. I could only smile and gently leaned over to kiss his hand, making him gasp slightly and look over at me in surprise. I giggled, earning a small chuckle in return after Damien relaxed from the kiss. And we're gonna do the toast. So finally, Damien lifted his glass and nodded to his older brothers. To our future, where we will go through the unknown together. Yes. Uh, his brothers smiled and lifted their glasses, but Damien looked to me with a loving gaze, knowing exactly where his future laid. Cheers! Okay, fireworks! Okay, I looked up to Damon, watching him become entranced by the fireworks. For a moment, my heart caught its my heart caught itself in my throat at the sight. He seemed to glow in the bright colors of it, and I found myself utterly speechless. So pretty. Uh, a small fragment of silence was enough to have me to have him squeeze my hand, breaking me from my own days and looking to him at attention. Huh? Yes. Yes. This is the best New Year's Eve ever. Can we do this every year? Yeah, sure, why not? Gosh. Uh, my heart flipped and I found myself nodding without a word. Damien was so precious to me and I could only and I could not wait to spend the new year and beyond with him in my life. Damien looked back at me and tilted his head, most likely confused at my expression. Huh? What is it? I just think you're so adorable. <laughs> I can't wait to see the new year with you, yes. Damien spit stared for a moment before smiling and nodding in reply. I will happily spend every day with you, for as long as you'll have me. Of course! Duh! We're in this together! God! So, yeah. So, okay, yeah, there we go! There we go! We did it! We did it! We went through everything! I think. Yes. Yes. I think, yeah. I was I was trying to look for, like, the, the CG, like, menu thing where we can see all that, but anyways, whatever. Uh, so yeah, there we go, the holiday episode, you guys, again, like, I, even though it's kind of delayed from, like, the, the time appropriate, but, like, anyways, regardless, it's still cold, it's still, there's still snow on the ground, so, you know, it, it works out. So yeah, anyways, the, there's that episode, we've only got one more to go, which is the beach episode, again, I will save that once the summer, like, once it gets warmer, I guess, like, I have other games and other stuff to show you guys I got requests to do requests on certain games to do as well so I will show you guys so I have those to show you guys so you hang tight this will be you'll see seduce me one last time do not worry and but until then please enjoy all my other let's play and you know more of the other let's play I have coming up and yeah um, just a just a side note that I kind of noticed with these like episodes. I kind I really like the CG art for this. Like I don't know. Like, um, 
compare compared to like I guess the main game CG art, like I feel like I really like the ones that are done here. It's so like it's so much more like there's so much more style and so much more going on. It's so much more interesting to look at and like the colors and everything, the sh like the shadowing and the, sh the co yeah, it's, it's it's nicer. I don't know. I like I like this kind of style better for CG rather than uh, the main one. I mean, the main game had still had some pretty solid CGs, but like in terms of coloring and style, I like this. I like what's going on here. So yeah. Anyways, um, that's all I have to say for the episode so far. And we still, yeah, again, we still have the beach episode to see, so I will see you guys once the season starts warming up and we can all get into the summer, summer vacay spirit. But until then, you guys, just bear with the cold, and yeah, <laughs> see you in another Let's Play, so bye!